y'all. Welcome to our new video series, This is a Great Church. We are going to hear from some friends how the church has helped to grow their faith life and improve their lives. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I go to A State in Jonesboro, so I am two hours away, but um, I know that I have a home at um, at the church. I look forward to coming home and seeing all of my church family and, um, you know, just like getting to see all those people who kind of like helped raise me. Cause I mean, I think it takes a village to like raise kids, um, like most people say. And I definitely was raised by like my church. We decided seven years ago to move back here to Maumel. We're not back to Maumel, but to Maumel. That was a big step for us because first time in, in a larger city and and we we started looking for churches and uh, I really expected to find, I didn't know anything about Maumel First Church, but I expected this huge Jewish church and to get that same feeling I've had back in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, the church at that time had uh, three services, one at nine, one at 10, and one at 11. And someone that had we had uh, met uh, asked us uh, to come to the encounter service. That service uh, no longer happens, but uh, they asked us to come to that, and we came and, and immediately found uh, uh, a welcoming atmosphere. And uh, we made friends almost immediately. Uh, uh, again, it was a very welcoming group. Uh, they actually, when people would call you and say, uh, you missed last Sunday, you know, like to see you back in church Sunday. So we got that good feeling again, and uh, it just felt like it was where we needed to be. Um, uh, it's really, the bottom line was it was the people that, uh, uh, that encouraged us to stay with the church, and that's where we, uh, what we decided to do. And um, it's a lot like you and, and uh, our big pastor, Arbrietta, say a lot, it's a great church, so. Um, when I was, probably around age 12, I was in the seventh grade, and my mom got diagnosed with stage four brain cancer. And um, being so young, like I didn't really understand like what was going on, but I just knew that it was like a difficult time for me. Being able to go to um, FUMC every Wednesday night and every Sunday night and every Sunday morning and just kind of hang out with like people my age and um, I had a really awesome like small group leader um, who I was able to like ask questions. I just like was really able to feel the love of Christ like through my um, peers that were at the church and um, the leaders that were at the church and just how they supported me through. When I was about nine years old um, in an old uh, revival that was held at our little church there. You went every night for a full week and uh, most of the time we had guest ministers and it was during that time when I was about nine years old that I gave my life to Christ. So, you know, my whole life has been in the church, and I grew up and went off to college and then got graduated and moved away and started a job. And even as a, a young adult, you know, I was always drawn toward different pro projects and different concerns in the community. So being in groups of trying to find out and locate and identify needs in your community or among your own members and then trying to meet those needs was always and has always been in my life. You know, congregations provide a lot of needs for for our members. We It provides companionship and we all have similar interests. Um, we, we have activities that we may plan and do together. We support each other and we love each other and we join each other in worship. And there's there's just something about that coming together that this congregation does a pretty good job. Now in college, just coming home and like being able to um, still have that relationship with 
um, a lot of the people that are at the church. Um, and then just like having um, the leaders in the church like see the potential in me that I didn't even see um, and place me in children's ministry or student ministry like as a leader myself kind of seeing like God's love like you know using those people in my life to show me what my gifts were and like what how how he wanted to use me you know a spirit of love and concern is felt in this in this congregation you know I think the congregation is just a way to to kind of come together with our personal our social and really obviously our Christian concerns and take those among the congregation as well as then into the community. I think our congregation is, they're, they're just, they're sweet and, and they're funny, um, they're serious, they're loving, and, and they're godlike. And I feel that love every time I come into this door. And I was thinking of, of scripture the other day, and I, it took me a minute to find it, and it's from Romans, and it says, we are many parts of one body, and we all belong to each other. And I think that belonging and caring and being part of each other really is evident in this community. So, you know, we are better together.